Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I want to make a quick video as quick as I possibly can. Uh, there's a misconception going around that uh, you have to spend way up in the money to get a, a, a good, reliable handgun. So there's a lot of folks that don't have them because they don't know that you can get a budget-friendly handgun and uh, still have a reliable weapon. So I want to do a little quick tabletop on a a really popular budget-friendly handgun. And I've owned several of these in their first generation and now their second. So anyway, let's do a little comparison. Well, we'll do that in a minute. Let me introduce to you the Taurus G2 Millennial. Okay, it comes in stainless or blued. Uh, the blued version is 239 bucks, I think, at most places. Um, stainless is a little more, I'm sure, if you can find it, but we're not talking about appearances. The gun has a safety. You know how I feel about that if you watch any of my videos. However, it also has a safe action trigger to where you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to use this safety. It's, um, I would guess, four and a half pounds. Uh, and to give you an idea, <clears throat> this Glock is empty. It's a Glock 26. Okay. Yes, I'm doing that with the release button. I know I shouldn't, even though I did. So, anyway, the guns are comparable in size okay actually the Taurus is a little smaller about you know somewhere around the same ballpark on thickness uh, grip now this looks a lot shorter on the Glock because I don't have the mag in but uh, they are really comparable and, and for six hundred dollars two thirty nine the gun is a striker fired it comes with an accessory rail, which you can mount a little light on it if you want. Fiber optic sights, adjustable. Get that, now, that's awesome. Fully adjustable for windage and elevation on a $230 pistol, okay? Uh, trigger, well, I've told you what a trigger breaks. It's got this weird little indention in the slide here, but that's kind of cool. Breaks down like a Glock. You notice the breakdown lever? Breakdown lever. The exact same breakdown procedure. Um, it does have one little thing that I don't care for, and that's the loaded indicator blade. But, you know, it doesn't rise up higher than the sights do, so it's okay. The one I griped about last time was on the Ruger SR series pistols, and they're great pistols. But it actually rolled up just a little bit higher than the sights, so it would snag, and I didn't like it. Plus, it was ugly. But, I mean, you, you can live with it. Uh, the grip on this gun is a lot. See this bulky? That's the only thing I've ever complained about with Glocks is their grip. Not the angle, but the bulkiness, that hump. When you put that gun in your hand, that hump, rides into your hand right here and after so many rounds that gets to be annoying and plus it's thick um that's a thick grip that's not for everybody but now we're reviewing this gun not so thick and not nearly as a pronounced hump and it actually fits the grip is better on this 200 and some change pistol than on that clock so i don't know what else to say about it uh, i think i've showed you the adjustable sights i can't get over that fully adjustable windage and elevation on a 200 and some change pistol 239 dollars something like that uh and it's smooth it shoots where you point it the uh serial number is inset like on a glock in the frame so you can't go wrong. I mean, here's one thing I want to show you that Glock don't have, and they should. 
they should copy if they have to and take the lawsuit and pay it off and be done, have rights to it. Okay. Now you just load it around. You're carrying a loaded pistol, right? Cheap demo. It just snapped. This man's still approaching you or this woman, this threat. Pull it again. As many times as it takes to fire the round. The gun goes from single action, striker fired, and it converts to double action in case the round don't go off. I mean, that is awesome. That can save your life. Glock. What? So now my round's jammed up. It didn't fire. I got to do that and undo the round, which half the time it don't pop out because it's now a full length round with projectile still intact with the casing, so it's longer. Now you got to sit and fight trying to get that round out after you drop the magazine because you can't do it with the mag in it. You have to drop the mag, rack the slide, pop the mag in, engage the gun. Pretty cool. So this is a Taurus Millennial G2. It is a PT-140. Uh, and they are the only manufacturer in this country right now, besides High Point, believe it or not, that offer a 100% transferable warranty. Anything on, on, the, on the gun. You drop it out of your airplane crop dust and you break the front side. Send it in, they replace it and pay postage. They don't do that. And I don't mean to keep harping, but I've got a lot of pistols and none of them do that. So, anyway, take a look at it. Thank you much. Take care of yourself and each other. Stay safe and God bless you.